Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm going to show you my new updated Diva Curl free wash day routine. Here we have like day four or five hair that desperately needs a good washing. I currently am using a lot of products from this new Royal Oils lines from Head & Shoulders, and I love it. This is their Moisture Boost Shampoo, which is like a clarifying shampoo, and then they have a moisturizing co-wash. I use the co-wash most days, uh, but about every other wash day, I'll use the clarifying one. For conditioner, they have the Moisture Renewal Conditioner from this line that I use, and also I've been trying out this Curl Talk uh, conditioner from Not Your Mother's, and it's lovely. For deep conditioners, I have two that I've been going back to recently. We have from Zoltos All About Curls, their, I don't know what the exact name is, their deep conditioning treatment. I'll have it linked below. And then from Lush, the R&B hair moisturizer, my favorite. You can tell it's almost empty. <laughs> so I have uh, shampooed and conditioned in the shower and I like to put on my deep conditioner in the shower and then put on a shower cap and then we will go and heat up my hot head heat cap. I turn it inside out first and microwave it for just about a minute. This is just filled with flaxseed and it's kind of like um, sitting under a uh, just like a dryer but it's something you can do at home and you can still walk around so you're not tied to like one position. So one minute on that side and then be careful, uh, flip it inside out or right side out and then throw it back in for one more minute. I then be careful and put this on over the uh, shower cap and my deep conditioning treatment and I try to make sure all the hair is underneath the cap so I don't get the actual like hot head heat cap a little too messy because you can't really deeply wash these you can only wash them on the surface. So now that that is on I leave it on for at least 30 minutes. Once the 30 minutes is up, I rinse it out. This is still a Diva Curl towel. I don't think it's anything wrong with that. I use my towel to just make it uh, dry my hair a little bit so that it's just damp. I don't like to style with soaking wet hair. And the first thing I do before I style is a scalp treatment. This is from the Royal Oils line again from Head & Shoulders and I love this treatment. It just makes my scalp feel tingly and uh, moisturized and uh, amazing. So as you can see here, I part the hair and I make sure I try to get a, like every part of my scalp with a couple of sprays and then I um, massage it in and move on to the next step. My scalp has honestly been so much better since I stopped using Diva Curl. Uh, so I really can't 100% say whether it was the Diva Curl causing the problems or if the Royal Oils line is really helping. I'm thinking it's a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B, but my scalp has been incredible recently. I am loving the results and I love that it's no longer itchy or anything. I have no more flakes and I just really like the way that this feels on my scalp. Next, we're gonna actually move into styling. And so the first thing I do is use a leave-in conditioner. These are two that I've been loving. The Not Your Mother's Kinky Moves Cream, and then from Curls, the Blueberry Bliss Leave-In Conditioner. Today, I'm gonna be using the Not Your Mother's Kinky Moves one, and I like to take just like a big, like quarter size amount and move that through all of my hair. Once that is all rubbed in, we can begin with gel. So I tend to use two gels. Uh, first, I use one of these two. So we've got the All About Curls High Definition Gel from Zoltos. And then we have from Mark Anthony, the Strictly Curls Styling Foam. I like the foam is a lot lighter. So I like to use this on like the top of my head and I like to use the Zoltos all around the bottom of my canopy. So I've just sectioned my hair off here. And the first thing I do is bring one of those two gels and just wipe it through my hair first. This is just to give me a nice coating of gel before I move in with my second gel and finger coil. So it is kind of a bit high maintenance, but this is just what has given me recently the best results.
My absolute favorite gel for finger coiling is from Dippity Doo. This is the Girls with Curls Jelly. It's an amazing gel. So I like to take a little glob of this for each section of my hair and generously use it as I finger curl every single curl on my head. I've definitely gotten better at doing this. At first it took me a long time to finger curl everything, but now I can get it done in like less than 20 minutes, like my entire styling routine. Um, from rinsing out my deep conditioner to being done and waiting for it to dry, it's around 20 minutes, so you definitely get better at it as you practice. Before I move on to the next uh, sections of my hair, I like to clip my other sections back and just proceed to do the same thing, finger coiling all around the top of my head. Now that we're at the top of my head, when I am done finger coiling, I like to take these clips. They are from Diva Curl, <laughs> but these clips, I like to clip my hair up closer to my part into the root, just to make sure I, I let it dry that way so I get the extra volume that I really uh, want and need. And just do the same thing on the other side, my last section. Once everything is all clipped, I like to leave my hair like this for as long as I can and let it dry this way. If I am going to work, um, I will then do the next step and then leave for work. If I'm doing this towards the nighttime and I'm getting ready for bed, like in this example, I'll show you how I put my bonnet on. But I do like to leave my hair to dry in this kind of manner for as long as possible. And I believe here it was about uh, two, two and a half hours. So now my hair is like half dry at this point, but it's bedtime. So what I'm going to do is take out all the clips and carefully pull up just the canopy of my head. Uh, so I bring all these curls up gently because I don't want to disturb the curls, but I bring them all up to the top of my head and do a loose kind of little kind of pineapple, but not full pineapple. And then I throw my bonnet on. So I take all of my hair, flip upside down, and gently shove everything into the bonnet. And then it is time for bedtime. And the next morning, we get our almost 100% dry curls. So I just take them out gently and give them a little shake. Some of the uh, sections are a little bit rough, so this is the time I take to really shake everything out, see if there's any curls out of place. I can go in and refresh single curls here and there. But this 
process gives me the best volume to last for of uh, like four days so like this hair right here i don't have to wash my hair again for four days i can style it i can put it up i can put it back i can put a headband on but this is just what's been giving me the best results lately So from here I would go on to style, I believe I did a really cute half up, half up, half down look this day and this hair lasts me for, you know, a good four days. So that is my current wash day routine, thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye!